hello guys welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be showing something different i am going to be doing not really a makeup video but it is makeup related and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to keep on watching go ahead and keep on watching also don't mind the stains i don't feel like changing so yeah so today I'm going to be talking about my beautiful vanity that I just got in yesterday. Guys, I am in love with this vanity. I've been wanting a vanity for the longest. Like, you don't understand. I made some, like, by myself when I've lived on my own. I've attempted a lot. Well, not really a lot. Probably, like, two times that i've attempted to make my own vanity and let me tell you this is by far the best investment that i have made as far as a vanity goes and yeah like look at this so beautiful so freaking beautiful <laughs> so Honestly, guys, I really thought that, ugh, let me get closer here. So I really thought that I had a lot of makeup and then once I received this, okay. So once I received this and put everything, ugh, the stains, I'm sorry. So once I received this and um, started putting everything really in to the drawers and stuff, I realized that I don't have as much things as I do, but I am very grateful for all the things that I do have. But I realized that I don't have as much as I thought I did because the only reason why I decided to get one, obviously not just because of the looks, but also because I was starting to buy a lot of this like little storage thingies here. Um, also like the big ones. I don't know if you know which one I'm talking about. Um, little plastic ones. I would have, you know, my man was using one, um, like on his side of the desk, and then I had this one and then another one on top. So it would be like up to here, really. And it would just be full of my things. And not only do I have BoxyCharm, so I'm constantly getting like new things each month, but I also, you know, buy things on my own here and there when I have the money to splurge on myself I do buy it so yeah this just made me realize that I don't really have a lot of things but I have enough things to fill up at least three drawers <laughs> so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get into it guys I'm so sorry about the stain it's bugging me but hopefully it doesn't bug you but I know it's gonna bug my mom I see you in the comments I know it's gonna bug you. I know my stain is going to bug you. So here you go. This is my stain, you guys. I got that stain from eating fruta, a fruta cup. Don't judge. Okay, so first thing off, I'm gonna start by saying I actually purchased this vanity by, um, so I found her on Instagram, her and her husband do these um, vanities. As far as I know right now, they don't have the specific vanity for purchase. They do have an, oh, there's a bug. They do have another, you know, different um, like table styles. Um, this one in specific is called the Sophia Large Vanity. And also as far as the mirror itself, they do have a bluetooth one where like right here ooh, where right here it has like the touch screen stuff and you can listen to your music you can like see the weather the day all that and it also has like a little like usb plug on the side of the mirror if i believe but i did go just decide to do this one just because I actually like it just feels I feel like this one just fills up like the mirror fills up the like the vanity if that makes sense like it goes with the table as far as the other one from what I saw in picture pictures <laughs> it's like a little gap on the side I don't know how big or small 
but I actually like the fact that this covers the whole desk top thing, my bob. Go check her out. This is her logo. Let me move the lashes. So Thelma's Vanity Creation. Um, I found her on Instagram. Like I said, I'll be having her information down below in the description. From what I know, I don't think she delivers outside of Tennessee. I don't know if she delivers in like what city she specifically delivers in Tennessee. Um, what cities? What towns? That's what I meant. But I do know that she delivers Laverne, Smyrna, Murfreesboro, I believe, maybe. Laverne, Nashville area. I don't know if she does deliveries outside of Tennessee, like I, like I said. Um, but yeah, you guys. I'm super in love with it. I did actually review, do it, like watch a lot of reviews for Impressions Vanity. I'm not gonna sit here and shit on them, I'm not. But the only reason why I didn't do it is because one, not only do you have to, you know, get insurance on the specific vanity itself. Um, so it's like if anything comes broken or anything like that, they can go ahead and, you know, send you a different piece you just have to send pictures and stuff but it's like you're paying for something extra and the vanity itself it's already a lot but it's like not only do you pay extra for all of that the you know like insurance i guess you want to call it well it is insurance on the thing but once you receive it you actually have to build it yourself and i've seen plenty of like videos on youtube and they actually take like three days or maybe a week or more i've never seen someone finish it in a whole day but they're always like a few days later or three days later and it's like i don't want to sit here and build my own vanity like i understand i paid for it i paid for that money but it's like at least just send me some pieces like somewhat ready or somewhat you know i don't know maybe i'm just thinking too far ahead or maybe I'm just like thinking too much about it, but if I'm gonna pay for that much, I would rather some pieces come ready so that way I don't have to sit there days, weeks, trying to figure out how to put my own vanity together. And this um, Thelma, um, she actually came with her husband and she asked me if she wanted um she asked me if she wanted she asked me if i wanted to in, like have the vanity installed or if I, she just like if we wouldn't just want to leave the pieces to the side so that way we can move the vanity where we please um i already knew where i wanted my vanity so i just told her to go ahead and install it the thing i like about the mirror is that the back of it is actually wood so it's very <laughs> it's very heavy let me tell you and yeah it just looks secure i feel like i did a really good investment for myself and yeah so let me go ahead and get to show you guys my vanity it's not pretty yet it's not like oh my god to die for just yet but i will get there soon so the first thing is like i just have my nail polish remover here which i need to get rid of <sighs> they put michael scott over here me and manny are actually starting a collection of these they're so cute okay so i have here my sponges the little ones and then i have one right here it is dirty i just used it today I do need to clean it even though it's like my second time using it but i don't want to get it like get it too dirty where you know it's horrible to clean after i did go ahead for my nails and start making a set i actually got this little stand from amazon um but yeah i don't know how i feel about these i feel like i'm getting tired of doing purple but i just have them up here i have hair ties um right here i have like mascaras lip pencils eyeliners um these little illuminators from iconic london 
and cover fx the glitter drops i do have three sponges in here just for right now just because i don't know where else to put them and i don't want to put them in the drawers just yet like i don't want to put like foundation and stuff in the drawers just yet just things i don't know and then i did get some beauty creation um foundation samples because i do want to try out their foundation but i haven't you know done anything with it and then right here i do have my foundations look guys i'm running out of my nars one i'm in love with the nars um radiant foundation that's like by far my best foundation that i have right now like i've tried plenty of foundations I even threw out one when i was cleaning this just because i didn't like it that's a waste of money i know but yeah i have my foundations i need to get rid of that one because that is too pink for me um yeah foundations contour sticks i have my concealers in here my p louise Ugh. i'm see this is why i want to get rid of these because <laughs> i'm scared it's gonna scratch the thing and then right here i have my mouse nail lamp my the what is it called i don't know what they're called it's a little lamp that you put your nails under the uv lamp yeah that's what it's called and then i have the nails right there and then right here i have nail polish clear coat um nail bond the rice and stone thing glitter what else do i have oh the little gum thingies so that way these can stay and then i have nail clippers and then a nail file and then the nail drill <laughs> and then right here i've already set up my lipsticks and lip glosses matte my matte lipsticks wow how do i forget the name of it but yeah this is all of well not all of them that i have but this is all the ones that i have on display at the moment i got this one on boxycharm and guys i really want to use it but i feel like it's too pink for me but i don't know i'll wear it one day and right here i have my brushes i am gonna get new um what you call it brush holders just because these are very old well not well yeah they are very old and i clearly messed up on the paint and they got dirty real quick because i'm always grabbing it with my makeup and this i just have this out here because i have like my jewelry and stuff in there that i never wear in the first drawer which is this one these top three actually pull out and that's what i like about it they pull out pretty freaking far like see yeah they pull out pretty far so i do want to have my sailor moon stuff out in display this one i got in a setting setting powder i don't remember which one i think it was a pretty vulgar one um the next the next vanessa actually gave that one to me but i like keeping this one right here i have my beauty creations the one i just got from my boxy charm and then my whatever palette from ColourPop, Vanessa gave that to me as well for my birthday. And then these earrings, I got the moon and the sun. They're just right there. I just want to take them out the package. I don't know why I just left them there. And then right here in this middle drawer, I actually have lashes. These lashes I'm actually currently wearing at the moment. And these are some other lashes right here. These are from Carla. Lashes by Carla. She's, guys, let me tell you, these lashes are so pretty. And I have another box right here. I actually don't have these lashes. I don't know where they are, but I like the packaging. And I have my Beauty Creation lashes right here that I have yet to wear. And then another pair of lashes by Carla. Sorry, guys. I cut the tip of that one. Well, the end. So that is that drawer. And then I got these lashes from this girl named Kenya. And I will put their information down below if you guys want to purchase some lashes from them. 
some latches some lashes from them i don't know um if they're currently selling some um but yeah i'll still link their information down below and here i just have some aesthetically pleasing to the eye type of palettes um and really this is the only one that i really don't use but these ones i actually love using so it's the highlighting palette and it's dusty it's already like done for from morphe and bretman and then this is wet and wild and bretman so cute and then i actually have my conspiracy palette right there and then right here i just so this is the thing i want to get some things for right here so that way i don't get the actual drawer dirty so i just put these like you know things with blades and stuff like that so that way i don't get it dirty i do need to get some stuff here like i said and i actually want to get like little organizers on here as well so here i just have like my highlighter my poreless putty primer bronzer and all these are oh all of these four are setting powders and then this is the illuminated um naked from urban decay Ugh, i can't even open it she's so cute i use this for my body and my face whenever i just want to have glitter and this came with the rhinestone thing i just use it to apply the rhinestones and then here i have this she actually gives you a folder as well um to sign like the agreement between you guys and guys oh, my nails are so ugly and this is her card isn't it so cute so yeah there's her information but like i said i'll still leave it down in the description below and i don't have anything else in like any of these other drawers but they are pretty freaking long like do you see how long they are like these are smaller and then the last three are pretty um a little bit thicker Okay, now going to the other side, right here. I actually have a place for these, but they're just there. <laughs> I have my hourglass um, highlighting stick. And then I have these little pouches with like tweezers and such things. Oh, those are my breath. Setting powders, setting powders, setting sprays, a tart blush, another blush um eyeliner lip scrub i lip scrub i didn't really like that one as much it didn't really do much for me um and then primers right here this is hydrating primer and then this is a glitter primer and then eyebrow things eyeliner like i said my contacts and more lashes right here and then this next one is where I have all my palettes. I, this is by far the full, like the only door that's full. So yeah, like there's still space to like move everything. Like mas palletas, like back there, you know? So yeah, I like this. It's pretty spacious. I have the small ones right here. And then the bigger ones right here, the thin ones on the side. And then I just recently got this. Well, not I. My mom bought it for me, but you know, just recently got my hands on it. I am going to be doing a video here next week, which, you know, if you're here a week after this is posted, then I'll start putting the link on this video. So you guys can go check that video out. This is the boss mood. And guys, this thing is so pretty. Like, I already took a look at it and I haven't touched it. I want to do my first impressions on it. And then, like I said, everything else is still empty. And I do want to actually get, like, a, a different type of chair. Not my, like, gaming chair office type. I don't want to use it because it doesn't fit in here. But for now, I am you know using it for the moment which it doesn't bother me so yeah i'm just gonna get new things for my brushes gonna get um the things from my drawer so that way i can go ahead and get rid of this as well because 
is kind of just there and I don't want a mistake happening like I did. I cut that clip out, by the way. And like one of these little drawers falling. So yeah, guys, this is the vanity. I just want to say, you know, really take your time if you're going to make a big purchase like this and do your research because you do not want to go somewhere and then you're just going to have a lot of issues with it. But you're just not going to want to do that because you're just wasting your money at this point. But yeah, do your research on, you know, big purchases like that. But if you got the money like that and you want to just go ahead and do it, you know, that's up to you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yes, I am recording this video on the phone because I'm too lazy to charge my camera. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch me. And hopefully we can get our subscribers to 250 since we did, thank you guys, reach our 200, and 200 um, subscribers. I was going to say 250. Our, we've already hit our 200 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the love. And yeah, guys, hope, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's different, but thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next video, which is the 35M palette review so thank you so much and have a great day